Okay, so the next question is from Warren Anderson, and Warren Anderson asks, um, Hi Pete, I've read that your gift for harmony was recognized at Berkeley. In your opinion, how did formal music education contribute to both your performance technique as well as your compositional creativity as an artist? Thanks. Wow, that's kind of heavy. Um, I don't know that I have a gift for harmony, but uh, I did love studying harmony. I, I, took, um, I took some harmony class every semester I was at Berkeley because I just, I just loved studying it. And um, in terms of compositional creativity, I was required every week to write some music. Sometimes it was only eight bars, sometimes it was more. But every single week I was at Berkeley, I was writing music. I had to come up with something that used whatever we were studying in class. And um, that, that did wonders for me um, in terms of being able to spit out things in different styles on, a, on short notice. Um, how did my formal music education contribute to both my performance technique? Um, Performance technique, that's, that's uh, practice. That's just practice, practice, practice. You gotta, you gotta spend a lot of hours with the instrument in your hands in order to, um, to get your technique built up. And uh, I think when you say performance technique, like I'm guessing you mean like when I'm performing and I'm still able to pull off what, what you know how we can, we can normally say, oh yeah, I play better in my living room than I do in front of people. Um, I think of that as performance technique, um, and it was a while. It was a while before I could have the confidence that hey, I can actually do this thing, and I don't care who's watching. I'm still going to nail this thing to the wall, and that that took quite a long time. Um, but my formal music education, I don't know that the formalness of it um, contributed to it, but I I was given a lot of different things to look at when I was at Berkeley, you know, from classical pieces for pick style guitar, because when I was there, there was no finger style guitar allowed at Berkeley. And so everything was with a flat pick. And I was, I had some serious chops back then with a flat pick. Um, but, uh, let's see. So, yeah, so I think that being um, exposed to a lot of different kinds of music, uh, a lot of different genres, and meeting people from all around the world when I was at Berkeley. I mean, there were there was only 3,000 students, and I think something like 65 countries were represented. So it was a great opportunity to to learn about other types of music. And when you sit down and you, and you try to play a, a tune from a guy who's from Japan, and then you try to play one from someone who's Germany, their approaches are going to be so totally different. And so that, that was a big help to me. Um, so there you go, Warren. Is it really Warren Anderson? The Warren Anderson? That's cool. Take care.